Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printed here. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to add a fav icon to your Flask app. So before I get into that, I just want to show you this Flask cheat sheet that I created. Um, it has a few things that can help you uh, save some time so you don't have to look up the documentation for pretty standard Flask stuff that you'll have to do in pretty much any app. So if you want to get this cheat sheet, just um, click the link down in the description below and you can get it. So a fab icon is this little icon that appears in your browser up here. Uh, you see the G for Google and a bunch of websites have their own fab icon. I'll show you how to add that in Flask. So typically the way you would do it is you would just put the fab icon uh, somewhere on your server and your web server will serve that, uh, that fab icon every time it's requested by a browser. But if you don't want to go that route and you want to have the fav icon in your Flask app because you have multiple fav icons or you just want to keep everything in a Flask app for simplicity purposes, then this video can help you out. So uh, let me start up the server. And right now I have just a basic Flask app that doesn't have uh, anything in it. It returns this index.html, but uh, the index file is empty. So I'll start that up first before I actually uh, add the fav icon. So it's running and I'll refresh this and I get a blank page and we'll see here, uh, do the request again. And normally it will return a 404 for the fav icon, but since uh, I was writing the Flask app earlier, it's using the fav icon from the debugger, if you can see that there. So I'm going to change this to my own fav icon that I have. Uh, let's see what it looks like. And I have it in the static directory. It can be anywhere, but this is what my fav icon looks like. It's a 16 by 16 image. It ends in .ico. Okay, so to add this is basically an HTML thing and not so much a Flask thing. So the Flask app is going to be exactly the same. And to add it, let me first write some HTML. So head have icon test so I'll save that and the server should still be running so I'll refresh and I see the fav icon text there so all I need to do to add it is I need to add a little bit in the head section of the HTML. So it's going to be a link to the icon. So uh, rel is going to be shortcut icon. And then the part that's somewhat Flask specific is the URL. So since this is in my static directory, I need to use the URL function to actually return the file because I can't access it directly. So what I'm going to do is uh, it's typical Jinja syntax. So I need the curly brackets first and I'll do URL four. And then I first specify the directory, which is static. You can name this anything you want, but by convention it's static. And then the next thing I need to name, uh, mention is the file name. So file name is fav icon .ico, which is also by convention. That's what the browser is going to be looking for. But um, since I'm specifying explicitly, I could actually have this be anything that I want. So I'll just save this and then I will refresh the page and we see the fav icon has changed to something else. So this is pretty easy to do. If you wanted to uh, have this in all of your template files, you'd probably have like a parent template with um, titles, with uh, loading of static resources like JavaScript files and CSS files and maybe have the uh, basic HTML structure laid out for you already in this parent template and then all your child templates will inherit from this uh, parent template and then you can write whatever custom code that is needed for whatever particular page you're working on. So very simple stuff but it's not as simple as just putting a file somewhere unless you have a certain type of web server but if you're working only with Flask then this works pretty well. So that's it for this video. Uh, if you have any questions about adding a fav icon, just leave a, a comment down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching this video and I will talk to you next time.